G'day, Stu here and welcome back to UAV Futures. Today we're going to be doing part two of how to build a micro FPV quadcopter. Uh, in this section we're going to look at how to set up a model on your Tyrannus and bind it to this receiver. And we're also going to plug it into the computer and set everything up so you're ready to go for a buzz. Alright, I'll show you how it's done. Right, so let's take a look at what we need to actually get airborne. Of course, uh, we're going to need our micro quad, and I've got mine just here. I've taken the top off uh, just so we can have a bit of an easier time getting in here because we need to access the micro USB port and also this, this little jumper plug just here. We're going to need that. Speaking of that jumper plug, we've got the uh, this little plug here. It's for the binder, so that's part of the binding process to get airborne. Don't lose these. That's why I've got mine sealed in this little plastic bag with some big writing on here, Alien Wee Binder, uh, because I really don't want to lose this because that's absolutely tiny. We've got an orange RXTX uh, transmitter module and I'll put a link in the description for all these sorts of things. The radio we're using is the Tyrannus so we'll go through this in a little bit soon as well. So the first thing that we're going to do Welcome is... To open TX. Thank you young lady. The first thing we're going to do is set up a new model in here that we can use to fly our micro. So you can do that uh, and you're going to have to bear with me. Oh, pushing menu, scrolling down, and we'll do, let's do it on number 10. There we go. Going to hold enter and press create model. And we're going to go across, what's that, multicopter. Uh, and then I just found channel 1. Yes, that's good. Oh, okay. All right, so you just push in the page button. Uh, channel 2 is going to be our roll. Channel 3 is our pitch. Channel 4, that's our yaw. That rhymes, that's nice. Uh, ready to go. So these were just all the default settings. Throttle channel 1, roll channel 2, pitch channel 3, yaw channel 4. Yep, that sounds good. Hold long, enter to confirm. All right, here's our model. Model 10. Now we're going to push page. And I'm going to name my model here, so bear with me. All right, so I've called mine UAV Micro because that uh, sounds like a good one. So I think then you just press exit. And there's a couple of things that we need to do. Most importantly, we need to go to this part here where it says internal receiver, uh, not inter internal RF. And we're going to take that and turn it to off. And see, once you've done that, you come up here with an option that says external RF. I don't know what RF means. Uh, anyway, so we're going to turn on our external RF in a minute. But first things first, we need to put this into the back of the Tyrannus. So we're going to open the back here. And just to be safe, let's turn it off. Because that'll all be saved. And, oh. There's some batteries charging going off in the background. And you've just got to line these pins up here with these these parts in the in the back of the Tyrannus. So we're going to slop our slop. Slap our module in there like that. It fits in really easily. Alright, now I'm going to turn it back on and we might hear some Welcome funny little noises. Alright, so you can see it's still got our model name right here, UAV Micro, and we're going to push menu. Uh, page and we're still in now here's all the model setup options and we're going to go all the way up so it goes to the bottom and here we go external RF and we want to turn this on because this is going to tell it to use our module that's in the back so we're going to push enter there turn that to on and you'll you'll hear a couple of beeps now this part's important for our micro and the receiver that we are running uh, we make sure it's on PPM channels 1 to 8 and that the PPM frame is at 22.5. So you can change these settings in here, but these are the ones that have worked well for me. Now while we're here, what we're going to want to do, we're going to set up an arm switch as well. So we can just flick a little switch that will arm our quadcopter. Alright, so you're going to go across to the mixer section and we're going to scroll down to channel 5 and start one there. All right, and let's call that arm. So we've called it arm. What we want to do, we want to change the source, and we're going to change that to whatever this. I want mine to be S G. So there we go. That's what our that's what our arm switch is going to be. I can actually just flick that while it's flashing, and uh, it's going to come across. So you can see here, our mix name is arm, and our source that's going to send that to our flight controller is going to be this up here which is SG on the Tyrannus. 
That's it on the Tyrannus side of things. Now I'm going to show you what we need to do to bind it to the micro. Okay, now that we've set up our Tyrannus, we want to actually bind our satellite receiver on here to that radio. So the first thing you need to do is on this alien where you can see just here these two little pins and they are the bind pins. So we need to actually connect those two with this little jumper pin. So I'm just going to slide this on here. It's very fiddly. All right, so those two are actually connected just here and we need to power on our quad. Now that I've powered it up, you can see this really rapid flashing little red light in here. And that means that this receiver is ready to bind. So I'm gonna sit this over here and I'm gonna show you just how we do this on the Tyrannus so they can both bind up and talk to each other. Now you've got two little bo bo bleh, buttons here on the, uh, on the module. You're going to hold in the bind button. So while that is being held in, you're going to turn on the Tyrannus. Welcome to OpenTX. So keeping it held in and you can see that it is now properly bound and the way I can tell that too is because this qu this little uh, receiver just here has stopped flashing red so that's letting me know that that solid red light that it is now bound and you can see here if I turn off the Tyrannus it's little red lights has gone out so it actually knows that it's been turned off so if I turn it on again welcome to open TX There you go, and now it's just it's just synced back up and it's bound again, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna turn my radio off just now. The next thing is I'm gonna unplug my little micro. And most importantly, make sure now we remove this bind pin because that's gonna stop it wanting to bind every single time we power it up. So put that somewhere safe. And if you ever need to rebind your uh, receiver, make sure you get this pin out again. So keep that somewhere safe. Now what we finally need to do is hook it up to our computer. So I've just connected my micro USB here and we'll jump over to the computer and look at the multi-week config and have a look at what that looks like. All right, so I've just connected my micro to my laptop here and I can tell that because the alien Wii board is flashing blue and it's ready for some inputs. And you'll have to forgive how slow this laptop is because it's from work and we all know that work loves to give you awesome computers to make flight videos on. Anyway, so I'm gonna open up the multi-week config just here and just run that. All right, so now that's loaded up, uh, what we're going to do is we're gonna climb over here and click on COM4 because that's what my port is configured as and we're gonna push start and that's gonna to connect to my alien Wii board. And you can see if I move the uh, micro around, you can see that it's corresponding to that on the screen. You've got an arm mode, angle and horizon mode here. I like to fly in acro mode, so that means I don't use arm, angle or horizon. So I'm not going to worry about selecting any, any of those things, but I do like an arm switch on here, and we set that up earlier in our Tyrannus. Just going to click there, and that will turn on our arm switch. So that let us, lets us know that when our auxiliary one channel is high, that it's going to arm. Right, so I'm just going to turn on my Tyrannus in the background and hopefully we should see some of these over here. This is our throttle roll pitch and your an arm switch. We should see some of those moving. Welcome to OpenTX. All right, so my Tyrannus has just turned on. I can see that because my throttle is here at zero and you can test these out here as well. So we're going to, you can see my throttle just here is going uh, from 1000 to 2000 and I've got the same with roll and pitch and your what we do want to check is that our arm switch we have which we have set to high so when our auxiliary switch auxiliary one just here gets to around 2000 that it's going to arm the quadcopter and we can test that by flicking the switch that we set up excuse my arm all right and you can see it's gone all the way up and I can actually see that this little light here is permanently on, which tells me the alien Wii board is armed. Now, one of the things that uh, we need to do just before we go is we're almost done. We just got to click this little right button down here. And that actually saves all the settings to your alien Wii board. So if you don't click that, you're going to lose all this awesome progress that we've made so far. All right, so once that's done, we can click uh, stop and we can close the com. All right, so our final little test, I'm just gonna plug the battery in just here. And all right, you'll notice that there's a couple of lights flashing on the Alien Wii board, and we're waiting for a little red light to come up on our satellite receiver. 
and that will come on once we turn our Tyrannus on. So I'm turning my Tyrannus on, you'll hear the lovely Welcome lady in the background. A little bit of beeping and there we go. Now I'm going to flick the arm switch. You can see this light coming on and off there every time I flick it. So disarmed, armed, disarmed, armed. It's like a song. Anyway, uh, and now we're just going to, I'm going to throttle up just a tiny tad. And look at that. We're bound. I won't go too crazy because uh, obviously I've got to put this back together now that I've taken all the top off and find some places for the batteries and things like that. So there you have it. That's it. That's how to bound, bind your Alienware and satellite receiver to your Tyrannus using an orange RX TX module. So I hope that helps. <laughs> I can't even talk. So I hope that helps some of you guys get into the world of micros. It's not as confusing as it seems and they're great fun to fly. Remember to subscribe for more FPV related content and as always, happy flying! I'm just going to leave you with some flight footage of the Micro. This is sort of its first maiden outdoor flight, so this is the first time it's been taken outdoors and I found it handled really well.